Hi, it's Jen and I'm recording this video because I have passed my third SOA exam which is the SRM for the September 2022 setting sitting. <laughs> yeah, so I'm making another video again to share about my experience taking the exam. Hopefully it helps you if you are taking um the SRM exam in the future. So yeah, let's get started. So the first question I remember having is how much time does it take to study for this exam? So if you already have some experience, um, I remember looking online, some people say that two months is enough. But for me, I spent around three months to study and I thought it was a quite relaxing pace yeah so but i also do have experience uh taking a class that has similar contents so um it's really up to you but i probably recommend three months of studying so what i did when i started was using the coaching actuary schedule and so you input your exam date and then um Phase 1 is the time that you're going to spend studying the material and Phase 2 is the amount of time you're going to spend to um, do practice problems. So yeah, this is a schedule I followed and it shows you like the, the subsection that you need to cover before the dates. So I thought it was quite helpful and this was the study schedule that I followed. Um, as I studied for the exam. Yeah, so I thought this was just enough time. And then moving on, so the study materials I used for this exam, I didn't use the uh, coaching actuaries learn or, or uh, the manual. I used a ASM manual given by my senior some time ago it was actually the first edition yeah so like i used this to study and so although oh okay it doesn't really show the so because it, it is an old edition of um the srm study manual it uh, what I had to do was I had to look at um, this subsections and then I just studied whatever is included in the ASM manual according to this. Yeah. So let me see if I can find an example. Okay. Let's go back. So for example, um, linear models, simple linear regression until other linear regression approaches. So in, if you are using the coaching actuaries manual or videos, um, they have this in order, but then I was using the manual to study. So um, let's go back. So what it is was this part. So linear regression from two to yeah, so these are linear regression parts and then the GLM. So it is a lot uh, if you are studying from ASM manual because it is more detailed and the examples are more complex. So that's something to take into account if when you are choosing your study material. But because um, this manual is passed down and I didn't want to spend um, money on the coaching actuaries um, learning manual or videos, um, this was the study manual that I used. And the only con is that it goes into a lot of details, but it's also good when you are studying. 
So if you are using ASM manual, I'll probably recommend more time because you are not being very efficient. Yeah. So besides the ASM study manual, I also use the um, ISLR. So this is the source material um, from the, oh my God, everything is, is the source material according to the syllabus. And this is very important when you're studying because uh, if you look online, people will recommend you to read this manual before you attempt the exam because a lot of qualitative questions, the wording is similar to this text. So while you are learning, uh, be sure to read this manual as well. It's not too difficult. Like you can read this on the bus or like, yeah, especially I think like the first few chapters like statistical learning, um, a lot of qualitative questions like the pros and cons of different methods. Yeah, those are some things that you will learn when you are reading this text. Um, so these are the main two sources that I use to learn the material. There's also the textbook they recommended that you can find online. But I feel like if you are already using the ASM manual or like the coaching actuaries manual, this textbook will not be that useful because um, it has even more details that might not be tested in the exams. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, contents. Yeah, but I also downloaded it in case I want to refer and I guess it's like a supporting study material that you can use if the other materials are not enough. And then this is the amount of notes I made from the ASM manual. And then also I downloaded the coaching actuaries formula sheet as well. That's something that I always do when I um, take the SOA exams. It's all free and I think it's really useful when you are trying to memorize all the formulas because most of it is already in there. Yeah, and I like it in color because it's just nicer that way. Um, what else? And then this, so after studying for the material, um, is now time to like do practice problems. So I spent around 40 days because I wanted to give myself more time to study um, to do practice problems so I did um, purchase the adapt from coaching actuaries a uh, 30 day one and um, so I did around this is like the amount of practice exams that I did and let me see oops yeah, so I did 13 practice exams from the adult and I think my earn level was around 5 towards the end. Yeah, but then the problem with the coaching actuaries adult is that once you start to do a lot of questions, you will see a lot of repeated questions because for SRM exam, the question bank in the coaching actuaries, I feel like there's not a lot of them compared to SMP or SM FM. But then that's also because SM SRM is still new. So yeah. Um and also a disclaimer, I feel like I'm lucky for this sitting because uh if you look at the SM pass rates for the last sitting, the September one. It only takes 60% for you to pass and my score was a 7. And at that time, I feel like I marked around 10 questions that I wasn't very sure of and I managed to get to 8. So yeah, I was quite lucky with this one. So you can see around 75.7% passed the exam for this sitting. 
but it was also because um from what I've heard from other candidates, it seems like there were a few problems in the exams that had unclear um unclear phrasing in the questions. So probably some of them got excluded which made this exam had a um pass mark that is lower than usual because the last few sittings the average pass mark was 65 percent but then even as an exam itself compared to um p and fm i feel like srm definitely is easier so yeah but it doesn't mean that you can select Slack off and studying, just letting you know this information when you prepare for your um, studies. And last but not least, I'm trying to make this video as brief as possible because I don't want to make a long video like, uh, like the last two videos that I made. But so some tips that I can give you. But again, take this with a grain of salt because I feel like I'm lucky for this sitting. But I think the most important tip is to um, uh, read ISLR because a lot of qualitative questions come from that. And I feel like it's quite useful to read the source text, not just uh, reading from the coaching actuaries because coaching actuaries summarize most of the stuff but if you read the ISLR it's more detailed and like I said sometimes the exams the the phrasing is more similar to the ISLR than coaching actuaries adult questions so that's number one and then Another problem that I faced, I remember, was that I feel like there were a lot of formulas to remember. So, I guess, um, preparing ahead of time to remember the formulas and then doing, again, doing a lot of practice problems and correcting your mistakes when you when you face mistakes when doing your practice problems, remember to make sure that you understand it. And if you don't understand why you're making the mistake, relearn it, relearn the subsection that you have trouble with. Don't just skim and think that you already have it down. Yeah. And then another Another resource that was really helpful was that I joined the Discord group from Discord group, what is it? What's the name? Oh, it's the Actuarial Exam Study Discord group. I'll probably link it down in the description. Yeah, I thought it was very helpful because when I had problems, I just posted in the questions and answers channel and they were very helpful in answering my questions and I feel like um, when there's when you know that there's more people studying along with you it just gives you more motivation because they understand your struggle str I can't even, they understand your struggle in studying as well yeah um, any other tips Uh, I think that's all for this exam because, um, like I said, I feel like the difficulty is not as difficult compared to P and FM, so I feel like I didn't struggle too much, and as long as you set up enough time to study, I believe that you'll be able to um, pass this exam. Uh, well, not too easily, but you'll be able to pass this exam compared because you already have experience studying for FM and P. 
So yeah, that's all for today. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer them in the comments. Thank you and have a good day.